You're watching the 2023-24 SCAC Men's Basketball Media Days. Today we're taking a look at the Southwestern University Men's Basketball Program. The Pirates will be led as they head into the season of the guys that head coach Connor Kirkendall, along with leadership from senior guard Jacob Hester. Coach Connor uh, and Jacob, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks, thanks Russell. Coach, we'll get started with you heading now into your fifth season there at Southwestern, first fourth full season with this group. Uh, this team closed five and three uh, down the stretch in your final eight regular season games of, of the year, making your uh, fifth straight uh, SGC tournament appearance. Just your thoughts on the excitement of getting back with the group, uh, starting a new season, and what has you uh, looking forward to, to another run here with the Pirates? Yeah, I'm sure probably like everybody else, we're, it's exciting um, to get going on a new year with the new uh, NCAA format, getting to practice before October 15th if you, if you choose to utilize the eight days and, and, and things like that. So it's been great just to kind of be more um, involved and work with our guys sooner in the year um, than in years past. It's always a little bit exciting and nerve-wracking when you get to mid-October um, because you, you hope the work the guys have put in in the offseason and hope – the work you put in the staff is kind of going to come together and gel as you progress through the year. So it's just been exciting to get back to work with these guys. Uh, you know, a lot of new faces, um, a, a big roster turnover. You know, once again, really excited with kind of, I think, how we finished last year where we could have been, you know, in a different position going into, into the conference tournament. The way we started conference playoff last year, I think we could have quit as a program and, and credit to the guys and credit to the leadership uh, that we had last year to kind of – like you said, mentioned, you know, finishing five and three with some big road wins and, you know, the losses that we did have, um, you know, were, were the teams in our league that everyone was losing to at that time. So on paper, it wasn't like those, those losses technically were hurting us, but to our, to our programs, credit to the guys credit from last year, we had to win big road games to make the tournament. Um, and so to their credit, we did that. And hopefully we can um, not put ourselves in that same position again this year. Uh, but right now we're obviously not worried about, what's going to happen, you know, in conference play. We're just trying to get ourselves off to a good start with with the month of October going into the the first few games. Jacob, heading into your senior season, you made 24 career starts, played uh, well over 1,000 minutes uh, throughout your career there in Georgetown. You've been through this, but but to come back now as one of the senior leaders, what makes preseason special? What, you know, has you excited coming into the year and how much do you enjoy uh, this part to, of the season, getting get back with the guys and getting prepared for the start of a new season? Getting back with the guys is, is always great. It's always a fun time. I think what makes this year different to, you know, Coach saying, just a lot of new faces. We have, I think, eight new faces, to, or 10 new faces total, eight freshmen, two transfers. Um, so obviously different in years past, being really, really young and me being a, a senior guard. But I'm, I'm really excited, um, you know, just having a new start, new new fresh start. I like Coach said, hopefully we get off to a better start, put it, put ourselves in a better position. Uh, but just ready, ready to start off the new year. So excited for that. Coach, you talked about it. Jacob mentioned as well the roster turnover with this group. You you look down uh, the lineup here. It looks like I think twelve of your eighteen guys are underclassmen. Uh, a number of uh, new faces to this program. What have you seen from this new group uh, as far as integrating them in, into this program? And what are the challenges that maybe that presents with the, the number of un underclassmen here with this team going into the season? Yeah, I think that you know the challenge and the joke I've kind of <laughs> was saying throughout the off season, spring into summer. <laughs> You know, and I'm really excited about having a young group. We feel really good about those underclassmen that you mentioned. Um, we feel good about the class we brought in along with the, the transfers. Uh, I'm excited yet terrified at the same point at the same time when you have a lot of young young faces, young young guys with some inexperience, sometimes uh, the consistency and and just and you know the mentality of and the approach of handling everything that's going on with being a college student athlete can kind of sometimes, in the way, um, but, you know, to their credit, we've had a great fall. Uh, I think it's probably our, been our best fall when it comes to uh, guys, you know, really committing themselves to the weight room, committing themselves to getting in the gym and, and getting shots up and, you know, having great energy through practices. As I mentioned, those eight days were, I think, really important for this group. You know, very fortunate this is our first year to be able to utilize that with such a young group. It's been great for us. Um, and just being able to spend some early time with those guys and try to, you know, build on our, our our core, you know, principles defensively, core principles offensively, knowing that it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, a roller coaster of a ride. I, you know, early on, just, you know, everybody wants to play perfect and, and make every shot. But, you know, one of the things we're trying to talk to our guys, especially because we're so young, is <laughs> let's play hard and the results will take care of themselves. You know, let's, let's understand we're not going to run a play right every time. We're going to make mistakes. And I think in years past, 
you know, once again, sometimes as a coaching staff, we can be overcritical and overanalyze some of those things. So with a young group, our, our approach has been very simplistic of like, let's play hard, let's compete. Um, and, you know, if we can do that, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay with whatever the results, you know, that come from that effort. So um, it's been exciting. It's been um, refreshing from a coaching perspective. It's got keeping me on my toes because uh, you never know what you're going to expect from day to day with such a young group. But to their credit overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with the, the approach they've had and, and credit to our upperclassmen and being great leaders as well. You know, when you have a young group like that, guys like Jacob Hester, um, you know, you know, he's done a great job of kind of obviously setting the tone and being, you know, really uh, communicating with those guys about where we've been in the past things and changes we're wanting to kind of implement. And, you know, it's been a good mixture so far of our upperclassmen, the few that we have doing a great job of setting the tone and being uh, leading by example with those, those young guys. Jacob, you're coming off another really solid season last year as a junior, making 12 more starts, a career high in terms of a three point percentage. Now back to back seasons with 180 plus points. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of positive things coming into your senior year. What are some things uh, that you worked on to the course of the off season, uh, to the course of the summer that to continue to grow your game and gives you confidence coming into your senior year? Yeah, absolutely. Coach is going to like this. I'm going to start with defense. Uh, you know, defensively really like working on my lateral quickness. Uh, getting my foot speed uh, up, really just trying to stay in front of guys as best as possible. Um, offensively, uh, really w working on my hip rotation, getting my shot up quicker. Uh, it's not really making shots, really, if I can get the shot up. So that's what I've been working on. And then really working on just, you know, tightening up my handle and my, my passing IQ. So that's what I've been working on. Coach, coming into the season, you've talked a little bit about some of the challenges with the roster turnover, but you're going to put these guys to the test very early, a, a difficult non-conference schedule that you've put together to get yourself prepared for an SEAC gauntlet uh, that will be challenging once again this year. What do you hope to learn by challenging this team early in non-conference, and, and how do you expect that challenge to help this group prepare once it comes to, to the SEAC portion of the schedule? Yeah, I've never claimed to be smart with scheduling. Uh, you know, same thing, and uh, I, you know, just a, a personal um, belief. I think you learn a lot about yourself when you, when you, you know, and in, in, in are involved in tough situations back, you know, back against the wall. Um, you know, and I think having a young team, I wanted to test ourselves early. And, you know, I think um, if you ask anyone in our conference, it's fun to play really talented teams, uh, teams that I think you respect and, and hopefully, as you're building a program, you know, you, you kind of want to get to that level and progress that level. And I don't think um, you can get there unless you know what it looks like. You know, it's great to talk about competing for a championship. It's great to talk in theory about playing in this way tournament. But until you know what those teams are like, um, until you see those guys up up close and, and up front and how big and strong and how guys are, are skilled in multiple ways and can all shoot and score in a variety of ways as well and how hard they play. Um, you know, I think there's really no other way to to understand what it takes to get there unless you're playing on it, playing against that type of uh, level um, and talent consistently. And, you know, and honestly, in our region, like, you know, there's not a whole lot of teams around us that you would consider, I think, an easy winnable game. I mean, and that and I think at the end of the day, uh, you don't run from it. I'm not worried about our, our record in the non-conference. I'm worried about preparing ourselves to play tough road conference games, you know, and can you win on the road in league play? If you can win on the road and in, in, in league play and take care of business at home, you're usually going to be in a pretty good successful when it comes time to, you know, being top half in that league and, and competing for the top of the of the conference. And so for us, um, you know, challenging non-conference schedule, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves right off the bat. Um, and once again, teams that 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 take ownership of, of who they are and where they want to go will We'll accept that challenge and not let that kind of get in the way of ultimately where we want to be come January, February. Jacob, you can hear the excitement from Coach's voice about, uh, you know, the ceiling that this group has, the, the the excitement going into the year. As you've had conversations with some of the other upperclassmen, some of the guys that are leaders on this team about the goals for, for this group heading into this 2023-24 season, what have those conversations looked like and what will be key for this team uh, to try and go out and accomplish those heading into the year? Yeah, some of the goals, I mean, we're really excited for our, our first scrimmage and our first game. Uh, we really want to get prepared for conference. Um, you know, like Coach said, there's not an easy, winnable game. So having that hard non-conference schedule, I think that'll help us a lot. Uh, really want to get prepared for conference, and we want to finish with a, a high seed in conference and hopefully win the conference championship. So, so those are all our goals. And finally, Coach, wrapping things up with you, as you kind of 
take inventory of this season and look ahead. What are this this group and this season is successful of what plays out on, on the court or off the court with this team? What are you looking for as you continue to build the foundation with this program and take those next steps you're heading into the year? Yeah, I think we've talked about two things. Obviously, I think one being transparent from a program perspective on the floor, off the floor, uh, player to player, coach to player, player to coach. Let's let's be transparent on a on a day-to-day basis. Let's call it like we see it. Let's take, you know, let's 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 not take things personal when it comes to challenging ourselves, um, no matter no matter who's doing the challenging. Um, so I think if we can really just be transparent as a program, um, you know, I'll, I'll be proud of this group. But that's that's easier said than done. You know, it's not easy hearing, you know, hearing criticism all the time. Um, and so I think if we can be transparent, I think that's a good, great step for us from a program perspective. And then honestly, the, one of the biggest things I'm looking for, just a level of consistency. Um, I think, you know, you look at once again, any team um, in conference play that's competing towards the top, there's a level of consistency. From time to time, obviously, you're going to have off days, um, off shooting night. But at the end of the day, there's going to be some form of consistency on what you are as a program whatever you value, whether it be defensively or offensively. Um, and I think in years past, we've always had ebbs and flows of where we're at, both in the in game um, and, and, and then weekend to weekend stretches, you know, you never know who's going to show up, you know, like you talked about finishing, you know, five and three, um, if we wouldn't have started, you know, one and six, one and seven, whatever it was to start, like we probably would have been in a better spot, but at the end of the day, we, 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 I think, missed out on some good opportunities in that in that first half of conference play just from lack of consistency. And obviously that starts with with us as a coaching staff and trying to making sure that we're doing our part to keep our guys ready to go. Um, but also at the end of the day, the players got to take ownership of that as well. And so those are some of the things I think we're kind of trying to communicate within the program. Um, once again, I'm big on not worrying as much about the result, worrying as much about the things that we can control. Um, and then you can live with the result. But usually if, if you're consistent in the controllables, uh, more often than not, you'll be proud of the effort you put in and, and the result will take care of itself. Southwestern University head men's basketball coach Connor Kirkendall, along with the leadership from senior guard Jacob Hester. The Pirates will open up the 2023-24 season on the road November 8th at Concordia. Coach Jacob, thanks so much for your time today and best of luck as you head into the season. Thanks, Russell. Appreciate it. Thank you.